Welcome back. Let's pretend for a moment that this is my personal MacBook and I took it to my employer so I can get access to my company's data, like my email and things remotely. Well, what if my employment gets terminated? Well, Microsoft Endpoint Manager can send a command to this MacBook to remove the business data and uh, be able to do a selective wipe and then no longer manage it. And here you can see it's managed. There's the company portal app letting us know that it's managed. Right behind it is the management profiles that get installed on Mac OS. Again, let me know that the device is managed. So let's switch over to Microsoft Endpoint Manager. Here's the device, and if I click on the Retire button, this will allow me to remove just the company data from that device. Now there's another command called Erase. I'll do another video on this later. But let's go ahead and click on the Retire button and choose Yes. Now when I do that, we switch back over to the MacBook in just a moment, there it is, the device is no longer managed, I get the toast notification, and if you notice behind it in the system preferences, the management profiles got removed, it happened pretty quickly, and then if we go to, over to system preferences, the, the profiles button is no longer visible. So the device is no longer managed, and it has uh, been removing all of the management profiles, so it's back to being my personal device. If I was managing any kind of settings and doing any kind of restrictions on the device, that has now been removed as well. Now, if we switch back to Endpoint Manager and we go over to Mac OS and go to my devices, we could see the device is no longer being evaluated because it's no longer being managed. And at this point, I could remove it from the directory if I wanted to. Okay, so that's doing a selective wipe on Mac OS. Hope you found value in this. In the next video, we will take a look at the erase command. So stay tuned. Take care, everybody. We'll see you soon.